Alright, so 2019. 2020? No, that's we're in 2020, which is just started. Right. But 2019. What's your top five artists that you've been listening to? From just 2019 or just in 2019, general? 2019. In general. 2019 top five artists. Since we left that year just recently. We're just beginning. We're what, five days into? Yeah, five days into the new year. It's funny. Right now, are you asking me as an as an artist? Nah, just in general. In general. Twenty, because as an artist, it doesn't change anything. No, because in, unless you're competing with somebody. No, and as an artist, I would say who influenced me. No, that because I just I did a post it, keyword influence. I didn't ask you who I know, influenced but you. I was thinking as I a, didn't ask you who influenced you. I asked you your top five artists that you're listen that you listen to in 2019. In 20, Not tw- top five artists who right. influenced you. All right. So from 2019, the artist that I was mostly listening to would be Excess Sensation. Who? Excess Sensation. I don't feel like it's pronounced that way. I feel like it is. Excess Sensation? Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like a lot of people butcher that name. Oh, well. Um, Black. I didn't butcher that name. <laughs> Six Lacks. <Six lakh. laughs> Black. J. Cole. J.I.D. I was listening to him a lot. So that's four. Yeah. Dang, one more. Eminem, because I was listening to Eminem, and he had just came out with uh, Kamikaze. So I was definitely listening. Dang, Jonah Luca was up there, too. Uh, you don't really say five. You got to take I, I'll take, I, I'm cool with those five. So no Jonah Lucas. No, so I, I, I'll keep Eminem. Just Eminem? Yeah. Uh, all right. Yeah. Was that five? Damn him again. Jo- uh, jo- <laughs> you can't say Jonah Lucas, because that's the would be six. Eminem. Eminem. Black. Black. J.I.D. J.I.D. Oh yeah, I did. Um, no, JID Russ. Yeah. And then I, wow, you just. Well, added I was Russ. missing one because I, you know, excess sensation. Extension. Yeah, excess sensation. Whatever. <laughs> I feel like it's sensation. Excess and, and Russ. I was definitely listening to Russ a lot. So Russ. Yeah. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. All right. Yeah. JID. Yeah. J Cole. Let okay. them know. Yeah. <laughs> That's who I was listening to a lot. So no, Jordan or Lucas. No. No. That's pretty good. Because the only reason why I started listening to John Lucas was my tattoo artist. He's the one that got me into it. And then, you know, Eminem put him on the Kamikaze. So that's why I was like, okay. Like, Eminem obviously put him on. Like, he could definitely. So it was like a feature. Listen. Yeah. Feature yeah. Listen. yeah. 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 He was definitely introduced to me in 2019. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Even been... though he's been out there for like mm-hmm. in a minute, but like, I didn't get to listen to him. But my tattoo artist, like, he, he was really into him. So. That's how I got to listen to. For me, it would have to be. It's a hard one because I've been listening to a lot in 2019, but what's been on repeat would be Mike Towers. Oh, I don't even think it's Spanish. It it doesn't. I mean, I'm just an artist. So Mike Towers, uh, Pusha T. Because, you know. Yeah, the whole Drake beef and everything. Nah, not even not that. Not even that, but just like he was eating. Push your teeth, just. Yeah. He had an album come yeah, out. He did have you know what I'm saying? So it would be, um, like I said, Black is one of them too, which is Black is going to be always because he's another one that I treat him like a Friends kind of episode or just TV show. Yeah. He would be like my Friends classic. Like I can listen to him classic every year and still relatable. Mm-hmm. I can, you know. Like, which I'm waiting for his album. Still go through the same shit and shit like that. Album. I don't think he's coming out with a new album. For this year? You don't think so? I mean, I hope so, but I hope he leaves all the features back. Like, I just want, like, the first one, you know, the first album. His features weren't that bad. I didn't like his second album as much as the first one. No, of course not. And especially the features. I hated the features. What, you don't like Jesse Reyes? Nah. The the Spanish version, yeah. I don't even think it was black, was it? It is. Okay, so the Spanish version of Jesse Reyes. But the regular version, no. I didn't like none of the features. Not right. even J. Cole's. And J. No. Cole was in his album. I didn't no, like you're it. right. It, it's not. It's, it's her song. See? So yeah. so it's not a feature. Yeah, it's her song featuring him. So yeah, yeah, so no. So yeah, I didn't like none of the features. I honestly don't understand why you didn't like the J. Cole verse. On I feel like it's basic. I, I, I feel I, like J. Cole I took... I really relate to it. I feel no. I mean, probably relatable, but I just... I feel like J. Cole could have went... He, he, he was very predictable. 
Like as soon as it started, I could predict what he was gonna say. If I can predict what you're gonna say, it wasn't lyrical. I think me. when because you're an artist and all that, and I, and I understand where you, you're where you're coming from. Like as an artist, because you can predict them. Like oh, if I can. If, yeah, if I that's what I'm saying. If I can predict shit, it's like eh. And that perspective, I understand. And then Jake Go is like eh. You're very you're being redundant. Because you said he was similar. He exactly. Could, yeah. And then he even copied the, the cadences of black because in the I, beginning. I, because what you said one time, when I, and I totally agree, like he did kill it more when he's with Miguel and why he didn't do it with black. Like Exactly. Yeah. You should have treated black as Miguel. Yeah, Miguel. Because he did kill it with Because Miguel. black is more of an R&B singer. He raps, but not that's not his priority or his main focus. Mostly his tracks is singing. Melodramatic, but it's singing. So, I just couldn't do it. So, it was black. Who else did I say? I don't know. But one day, I want to get an assistant. So, one day, I can pass a cup. Just take the cup away. Yeah, because I... Obviously, you're not remembering anything. One day. So, black. Definitely black. Uh, Mike Towers. Mike Towers. So, that's two. That was two. And Griselda. Which he was just recently. Like at the end it's of the 2019. year. It's 2019. I know, but I'm saying like. So you can't say recently. It's 2019. Because okay. I, I. So, so that's three. That's three. Uh, definitely Eminem. I've always been a fan of Eminem. Yeah. So anytime he comes out with anything, I'm going to listen yeah. to it. Obviously. You know? Oh, Pusha T. No, that's five. No, that's four. No, that's five. Mike Towers. Mike, Mike Towers. Um, Black. Jurisella. Jurisella. Eminem. And Pusha T. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Oh, Top yeah. five. Yeah. yeah. By the way, like, I didn't like, I'm kind of anxious to see if he will diss Nick Cannon, which I don't know. He's not. He's not? You don't he, think he's so? He's not. You don't think he's going to put it on his new album? Nick Cannon's not worth it. He's not, but <laughs> it would be interesting. Especially after those songs he did. Three Definitely diss songs? Like, no, it's not worth it at all. Three diss songs. What? No. What? Who it, seemed, fuck, it seemed desperate. Who the fuck is Nick Cannon? I, I thought it was desperate. Nick Cannon is not even a rapper. Dude. No. Like, you tell me Nick Cannon was like... I, I can't even name a song from Nick Cannon. I felt disappointed that the battle rappers that he used, like, could at least came harder. I felt like they was just, like, kind of, like, using... They did it for attention. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. They I felt like they, they did it for attention, for attention, and they know they can't go against... You know. I mean, come on, man. Like, they know. It, that's it, the reason. I feel... I right, so, there's, there's a saying about rappers. Like, if you end up in love and hip-hop, your career's over. I feel the same as battle rappers. If you can, if you can move on, like if that's what you're going for, then I know people are gonna say some shit about me, but because <laughs> I I don't go for that. You know what I'm saying? I just make music to make music. I make music for me. But apart that, I feel like battle rappers. Like if you stay in battle rapping and you can't make a song to save your life. That's career ending. Like if you stay in battle rapper, that's it. You're just a battle rapper. You not an artist. You can't call yourself an artist if you can't make a song. You know what I'm saying? And if that's 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 your goal to to get famous or just to become an artist and you can't make a song to save your life, you're just going to be a battle rapper for life. And that's fine. You know what I'm saying? And another thing, I don't even like battle rappers nowadays. It's so fucking dumb. Like the the only one that I fucks with and I can like say, "Okay, if you put him on a beat, he still would be the same fucking Loaded Lux. Right? That's it. Other than that, you, you put a beat on, they can't fucking follow a beat or they no. can't do the same shit that they do. Like, battle rapping back in the day, you will put a fucking they beat. They put a beat. You will put a beat. Yeah. And that shit is harder than just fucking... I feel like battle rappers now, they fucking write a monologue. But not even just that. Just like the new rappers now. That's what I'm saying. Just like, battle rappers nowadays, they, they make... Uh, they write a monologue, they memorize that shit, and then they spit it. It's not even freestyling no more. No, you can't I, even I was, say this is freestyling. With like, not even like now, the new artists can't even like stay on beat or anything like that. Like, look at Blueface. Oh my fucking god! Somebody oh. who I don't know if you're a fan of Blueface, you gonna hate this shit and fuck you because I don't give a fuck. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, if you listen to Blueface, I'm sorry, you just dumb as fuck. Like. The whole point of a fucking beat is to stay on beat. beat. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. To fall into pocket. Like, fuck that shit. You, if you rap out of beat, you just know. You can't rap for shit. But which is crazy because I had a, 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 like a young girl tell me that like 
It's like I don't have because she heard one of my songs and she was like, "How you young?" Don't, like I would say, like teenager, like around fourteen, fifteen. That makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. But I, but it's starting to like understand like why like these younger art like these younger yeah, people they, are they don't know fucking music. Yeah. They just don't like. And I agree with that. What the fuck? Because like, they, they were no. saying it was like I don't have to stay on beat the whole time. But so like, that means that means anybody can fucking rap, right? Because a lot of people when they fucking. If you don't know shit about music and you really don't know cadences or into pocket or just flow or melodies, you're not going to be on fucking beat. And I feel like that separates the real artists from like people that can't do it. Like if you're a real artist, you're supposed to rap on beat. You're supposed I, no, to flow no. on beat. I don't know. What the fuck? I feel like Blueface to me is uh, the yeah. dumbest fucking shit that could ever happen to rap in all decades. Not even this decade, no. All fucking decades. <laughs> like, you just can't, no. You just cannot. How the fuck are you supporting somebody that's not even on fucking beat? Yeah. That's not even hip hop. That's not rap. That ain't shit. you just a piece of shit that can't rap. And then you, oh, and then even, you got these even, dumb motherfuckers that follow that shit. Even other genres are like stay on beat. Like you know, you got your alternative rock, rock and roll. Pop, yeah, they, they're pop, on beat. They they're still on, beat. on, on beat. fucking beat. pocket. Yeah, even heavy metal. Fucking, even they're screaming. They're still on beat. Like, they're still on beat. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't. And, and you might not say beat because there might be just fucking guitars. But they're still falling into fucking place. No, it's an instrumental. Instrumental, same shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like no, that shit is ridiculous to me. Like. If you're a fan of fucking Blueface, please don't fucking listen to music. <laughs> don't tell me shit about music. I, I can't take your word for it, basically. I, 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 like I told my brother, like he has um, bad taste on food. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you can't, you can't tell me shit tastes good because your palate is just not, you know what I'm saying? That tasteful to me. It's, that's how I feel about that like Blueface to me like you have bad fucking taste in music if you really think that Blueface is a fucking rapper you just have terrible taste it's just, to me my universe okay. I always tell people like yeah. I live in my own fucking universe this is this is what I like in my universe whatever the fuck you like in your universe has nothing to do with my universe if you fuck with that shit fuck it you fuck with that shit but nothing to do with me just my opinion so you know, who do you think is a terrible person? Like, a terrible rapper in general? Blueface is one of them. So, then we agree on that. Yeah, I definitely agree. Um, there's, there's, there's some artists that I just don't really enjoy. Which is? Like, I just don't listen to, like, Lil Pump. Horrible. Yeah. Kodak Black. Uh, there, are, there are some people that have told me that he's pretty good, but it's just to me, I just... I he, just he does mumble, but I do, like... Some of his, yeah. you know what I'm saying. He has some type of content. It's just the way he talks. Yeah. But yeah. he, but he, at least he's on beat. Fuck that <laughs> shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if anything, if you give Kodak credit for anything, it's, it's at least he's beat. on fucking okay. beat. That's you know what I'm saying. Because I like the one he did with Black. And uh, what's her fucking? Name? I forget her name. I forget her name. But yeah, he did a song with Black and somebody else, and it was pretty dope. The content was lyrical and it was a good message as far as you know just being political and music but yeah i i i i wouldn't say i'm a big fan but i give him a pass no well i feel like we talked about music for the first episode let's get into photography i feel like um any pet peeves photography yeah a lot yeah it's a lot i got I, I got a couple to talk about uh, could, uh, so, we're a multifaceted people. Yeah, we do true. different things, you know. But photography has to be, oh man, it's... It's still part of art. I feel like it's worse than music. <laughs> because at least in music, I control my content. I don't have to deal with anybody. Even features, if I don't fuck with your features, it's like, ah. You just don't get put on. You don't get put on. Yeah. And, and I produce all, everything. Mm -hmm. I produce all my content, all my music and stuff, so... If I just don't fuck with you, I, I don't have to deal with that shit. Photography, you got to deal with models. Models that don't know how to post. But it's cool because photography, it's mostly the photographer. Well, it depends on the person, too. Because if there are people that, you know, let themselves get guided. And, you know, they're open-minded and everything. And, you know, they're very But my pet peeve is just when they want this shit, like, right away. Uh, like, don't... You can't rush art. No. Okay? I am... Personally, me, I know some models don't fucking, they hate me. 
because <laughs> I don't really shit right away. You know what I'm saying? Most models be like, oh, when you have the pics ready. Um, oh, when I feel like it. Because not even for when I feel like it, but it's just like, to me, art, it inspires me. So when I do a photography, if it inspires me, I'll, you know what I'm saying? I get down to it. I edit it or whatever I have to do with it. Or if I'm feeling, I have to look at it multiple different days. And if I still see the same vision that I envision without taking the photo, then I'm like, okay. Unless you pay me, that's different. When you pay me, I have to put you first and I have to do your content the best that I can. And then I don't even take it from my perspective. I take it from your perspective. Okay, so well, if you pay me and I do a photo shoot, I will show you the photos that I took. And then obviously you're going to be like, I like that shot. I like that shot. I like that shot. So then I take your opinion and just edit them for your liking. I feel when like it's a paid gig, I feel like I lose a little bit of the passion in art. I do. Yeah. That's, that's, it's always going to be like yeah, that with art. I feel If like you that. pay me, it's, it's going to be generic. Yeah, because it's more for it down it's, and that's what i'm saying that's why i show them the photography whatever they like uh yeah. like i might not like the picture but if you liked it yeah hey that's that's the way you like I it like that. that's what you like that's the angle that's the shot that you like okay you can have that you're paying for that that's your product yeah. but if it's for my digest one of my pet peeves would be when i give that client or that person the photos but they don't use like all of it. They might use like three out of all the photos that I've sent them. Oh, oh, that shit. Yeah, which I don't me. understand. Like you ask for all these photos and then. Oh, that kills me all the time because I've done that. Like me personally, I don't put a limit. Right. I don't either. There's some photographers that do. Yeah. They'll give you a limit and a number. And no shame to those who does that because that's that's how you want to go about it. That's on you. I personally, I don't put a limit because I feel like I don't have I art. You can't put a limit to art or inspiration. If the fucking shot, if I feel like it's a good shot, you're going to get it. Right. Like I said, even if it's your liking. But that's the reason I asked them. Right. And then most of the time, clients, they always pick more than fucking five. They want a lot of shit, too, because at the time in their eyes, that shit looks good. But it might not look good once you see it again. So I just. I do I do unlimited number. Yeah. So as much as the shots and I was inspired, that's how money you're gonna give. Usually I don't even let a client like really get into my head when they when I show them the picture when I'm taking it and I show them on the camera and they be like, Oh, I don't like it. And then, and I tell them and I'd be like, Well, you know, wait till you see the final because you might change your mind. Cause you know, I still gotta go through the edits and the process and stuff like that. So To be honest, most of the time I don't like the shots they choose. <laughs> I don't <laughs> Because I already know they're going off generic, they're going off visual, they're going off... They're self-conscious and everything. Self-conscious, yeah, because yeah, they're insecurity, the self-conscious. It's like, I don't like the way I look on that. Mm -hmm. That's on you, but if I like the art of it, that's... Yo, if I think, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Anyways, they say beauty is in the eye of the beholder. And to me, to my beauty is way different than most people. I have come to realize that because most people just be picking some dumb shit. And I'm like... And the same shit you said. I send them, like... The shots, and I'm like, I'm thinking, oh, this shit's going to be fire. They don't even they use They don't even use... The, the one that I think that is, like, fucking great... They don't even let, use Let's it. just say the one shot or two shots that I think is fucking great, they don't pick that fucking... <laughs> they don't even post it. Mm -hmm. And it's like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? So, it, it's cool. Like, at the end of the day, you pay me, that's fine. Yeah. You pay for what you like, so it's good at the end because you got what you like. But as far as me, my perspective is different, I guess. And I like to take time with my art. So I do appreciate everybody that has let me done a shoot with you. And you let me have control of my art. Like, if you didn't like it, that's fine. You know what I'm saying? And if you like the same shot I like, we can freaking do more shoots. Because... I just feel like we got something going on. Like, yeah, that's yeah. fine. You know what I'm saying? But I did have one model, one model that just like posted all the photos in one post. And I'm like, why would you do that? 
In one post of what? On Instagram. You know how on Instagram you post one and you can like... How many posts can be there? I don't know what's the limit. Maybe like... But I didn't. I, I feel didn't, like it's eight. Maybe, but I didn't, I didn't. He didn't. I didn't give him a lot of shots. It was. It was like a mini shoot. So. So it was like five. Yeah. No, he did like a more, maybe like around nine, and he put. I thought it was only eight. I don't know. There is. But he put like majority of them, and I was like, damn, why would you put them? In my, I'm thinking in my. Like, why Not would to you put you on blast, but I mean, I, personally, who the fuck was this? <laughs> I'm not going. I can't. I can't put there. Why? Put them on blast. I just can't. It's just you know, you know, discrepancy. Female yeah. or male. I would say it's a male. <laughs> oh hell no! Yeah. yeah, so I was like, "Oh my god, why would you?" I did, I did tell him because we were close friends. We were, you know, and I told him I was like, "Don't you know?" You know. Why'd you, I told why'd him, you do that? No, I told him. No, I told him like in perspective, like you know, you want you one shot at a time. You can spread out your work to make it seem because you know he was trying to do something with his career, and I was like, you can spread it out to make it seem to your audience that you are, you know, productive, productive and consistent. But if you all put it all in, that's place, another thing. That's another thing. So. Now that you bring that up, like, I hold shit a lot. I hold back a lot of my content. I could shoot you this month. And that's the reason I, I do it because I've started doing this thing where, like, if you, okay, just people that I shoot with in, in regular, like, I would send you one shot at a time because it has happened to me too. Like, I send you, and you post all this shit in one day. Like, what? What in the world? Like, you know, you're trying to build a portfolio or anything or just on Instagram. You know better not to just post everything at one time. Because the majority of the people are just going to look at maybe like two or three photos. Yeah, and that's then they, it. And they'll move on. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. that, that, I do it all that the time. third fucking shot could be fire, but they're not going to get see it because mm -hmm. you posted everything at once. Mm -hmm. And it's just the first fucking photo. They'll be like, and most people, most people go off, like you said, even in person, they go off for first impression. Mm -hmm. So every fucking first photo you post that's what they're gonna go that's off. what they're gonna go off and if you don't pick like a and if the, one, if the second post is not the same as the first you're like ah the fuck no so yeah. you uh, you know tip for you know um, any newcomer photographers not any like, photographers models, models. models. Yeah. because photographers we know no there are some photographers that do that I've seen some photographers some local true, photographers true that do it. I haven't seen much but but mostly my experience has been with models because yeah. I don't really you know photographers are different we kind of understand. Yeah. I've seen some that I've done it. I'm like... Maybe newcomers or new beginners or stuff like that, but mostly models do that. Yeah. And even the models that they... they you send them something or they don't even post it. It's like, oh, okay, so... <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I, I have had a, a because couple I'm like, models oh, that done that. Yeah, I'm like, like, so... It, what was the whole one of that? Like? It's one reason I don't like to work in groups. Because you do, like, sessions or groups and there's multiple photographers... And most photographers want to get their shit out there. Like he said, like some photographers do the same shit. So all of them send them the, the fucking shoots and edits like the next very day or, every, you know, in two days. I take my time. I take more than a week. Sometimes I take more than a month. And then I send you the shoots and you don't even post any. I'm like, okay, so I, I'm not working with you anymore because obviously you didn't like my work. And if you didn't like my work, what's the point of working with yeah. you again? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's just a waste of my time. Worst waste of shoots. So if you do that, I'm not going to work with you again. Unless there's some type of misunderstanding or something like that. But other than that, no. Like, that's pointless. Mm -hmm. So what about filming? I've, I've had some videos. I would say I've, I would say I've been slacking more in that department. I've been leaning more towards photography, because filming is a whole different ball game. Oh, that takes more work. Yeah, it takes more work, and some people don't understand that. And sometimes when I give them a price, they be like, well, "It'd be too expensive." When in reality, it's really not compared to like other people. But like, like people gotta understand like the editing, the process of going through videos. Like you have to. Plan this out of what you want to record, the content of it. The edits are a whole different ball game. It's not like, especially like if you want some crazy effect, like it takes like a process just to go through that and you know the timing and everything. And people just don't understand that. That's why, like, you know, when I charge for my film, it's more expensive than photography. The photography is, it's, it's got to be. Yeah. Even photography. Because of my, you know, I, my photography, I started in Hawaii, and the prices in Hawaii is way different than in Virginia, yes. right? Yeah. So in Hawaii, I get not even a person, 
right? So you think about this. I used to do real estate photography. Mm -hmm. I shot mints, by the way. Exactly. Real estate photography, 500 a house. Right in a Hawaii, condo. it was a condo. No, no, no. Was it five hundred condo and five, like three hundred no. for like an apartment? Five hundred? No, you had it the way. The, the other way. Five hundred a house, three hundred a, a condo because a condo is much smaller than okay. a house. Okay. Right. I come here. It's like five hundred is a lot for them. Like, not not even in in not even that. Uh, in Hawaii, three fifty for a portrait shoot and included five five photos. <laughs> yeah. Five photos. For a portrait shoot, three fifty, right? You come here, one fifty. It's a lot for them, and it's like, okay, so apparently it's, you know what I'm saying? Hawaii is very commercial. Yeah, and it's very like tourist, too. tourist, and, and not even that. It's just commercial. It's just very, you know, lucrative over there. More photography. They want to do shoots. They don't care about the price. You're on vacation. Not even that. Even in vacation, even regular people over there, it's like they understand, and they do understand the artist and the photographer. Here, they don't. It's so saturated with cheap ass fucking photographers in Virginia yeah. and any other fucking other state that is not commercial or stuff like that. You know, and they were like one fifty or one seventy five. I was like, that's a lot. No, like, not even that. Like, I charge usually for like photography ninety dollars, and they still think that's a lot. Exactly, ninety dollars is not, even, is a not even a lot. Like, if you compare that my is, prices to any photographer, exactly. 